in one of Jesus' teachings, he told the people who were gathered that our mouths and our hearts are connected. And he wasn't talking biologically because of the blood vessels that carry blood and bacteria back and forth. Jesus was talking about our heart, not as a blood pumping organ, but as the place where our morals, our value, and our spirit are. The essence of who we are as people. He said who we are deep down inside will come out through our words and our actions. So I have this bottle, which is us, and the straw is reaching down to the bottom of the bottle and coming out to help us see what Jesus means. Jesus said, the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. And he also said, a good man brings up good things out of the good stored in his heart, but that we bring up bad things if we have bad things stored in our heart. Now, we all end up with some bad things stored in our heart. Anger that we feel towards others and direct towards other people. Let's think together of some of the things that make us feel anger or hatred towards others. Maybe somebody has lied to you and it's broken trust and that makes you angry. Or maybe somebody has hurt you. They've pushed you or kicked you or hurt you in some other way that the pain in your heart turns into anger towards them. Or maybe somebody has lied about you and you become angry that that person has said something untrue or worse. What they said got you in trouble and you're angry at the person who lied about you and the person who got you in trouble. And we've all said things out of anger that we've regretted later, haven't we? We've said things that were hateful or hurtful and when we look back at what happened, we might not even recognize the way we were behaving because it was so full of anger. Maybe we wish we could take our words back. Maybe we wish we had just kept quiet. So how do we keep from storing bad things in our heart so they don't cloud up the good things in our heart? Because for all of the bad things in our heart, we have so many more good things stored up. But those ugly things, they just keep out and they come out when we're angry and they take over the good judgments not to say or do something, don't they? This balloon represents the Holy Spirit that God has given to each of us. The Holy Spirit is our helper, our comforter. When we pray to God, the Holy Spirit helps us reach down into the bottom of our heart and helps us find the words we need for prayer. And we can give our anger and our problems and our troubles to God in prayer. We talk a lot about prayer, don't we? But the reason is because prayer is pretty powerful. And prayer is an important part of forgiveness. Forgiving others is a difficult thing, isn't it? But God helps us. Remember, Jesus forgave us before we were even born when he died on the cross. And when we do something and we ask for God's forgiveness, he forgives us before we've even taken a breath after asking. Maybe even before we've even finished asking. And because God has already forgiven us and forgives us so easily, we are able to forgive those who do things that make us angry or hurt us. We just need a little help. When we give our anger to God, it can help clear up the hold it has on our heart. And it can help us look and see that person through God's eyes. This way, we can use the power of the Holy Spirit to forgive those around us. And it can make sure that 
when we are talking to others, the words that come out are from the goodness that each of us has stored up inside. So this week, if we're feeling angry or upset, let's remember to ask God to help forgive us and help us forgive others before we open our mouth so that we can make sure that the words that we use with each other come only from the goodness that we have stored up inside of us.